take a look at this place, huh? I was going to say, Michael, take a look at this and take a good look, right? Tell folks where we're at. We are showing off the Steel Light International Showroom located in downtown Youngstown. Mm -hmm. um, for those of you who are um, not aware that this space even exists, we are really lucky to have it. Um, this is the place where a lot of restaurant leaders and restaurant owners. Yeah, for the come, big chains. Right, for all big come chains, to Youngstown. They come here to look at what their china is going to look like, what their flatware is going to look like. And uh, Steel Light invites people in from all over the world to come here. I like these big aisles, so I don't feel like I'm gonna ram up against something and knock something over. Isn't that smart? <laughs> yeah, there's uh, there's no china cabinets. Everything's just very <laughs> all out in the open, so you know exactly where you are at yeah. all times. So you don't like drop an elbow or something. So good afternoon, welcome to Valley Spotlight on the road this week. I'm Mike Case. And I'm Lauren Lindvig, as always. Thank you um, to everybody who makes this show possible, including Steel Light. So Steel Light is a big part of it. And we have a lot of things going on in this show. But first, we want to start with one of our old friends. Yes, we will start with a young lady named Dr. Tonya L. Farmer. And her Salt Me brand is something that we featured early on our show right here on Valley Spotlight. But Dr. Farmer's story behind how her products have been so successful is just one part. It also takes another part, what happens inside of her home, to make it all come full circle. This is the only time that I tell kids, and it doesn't matter if mommy gets mad at me, it's the only time that you can have as many popsicles and ice cream as you want even in the middle of the night and she can't say no okay <laughs> sound like a plan it's this kind of honesty and this kind of warmth that can only come from one kind of doctor a doctor like tonya l farmer and after performing thousands of ear nose and throat surgeries on thousands of patients she was finally honest with herself about what she was seeing and how her patients were feeling so she went home to get back to work and her home is where Salt Me was born. It all, it all yeah. happened here. Yeah, my husband, he puts up with a lot. Um, well, did you start, I think you started with the cocoa butter first, right? The cocoa butter was the first product. Yeah. The cocoa butter was the first product and yeah. then the inhalers came yeah. along and now it's really focused on the inhalers because right. of how beneficial it is for the sinuses. But well, my wife is always creating something. So, and her side of the family, they, they are very creative, very talented. So. I mean, it was just one more thing that she, she was creating. Okay, all right. You know, but the cocoa butter, we all liked it. We liked it. This is good. You know, keep making that. This is great. Get back so, in that kitchen and make yeah. some more. So, and then, you know, I think the inhaler, I think it was wintertime maybe. The kids were, you know, of course, they're being an ENT. Right. You know, everybody's complaining about not breathing and all that. So she's like, I think I'm going to do an inhaler. Right. Say, so go for it. <laughs> so listen, my wife, when she gets an idea, all I could do is get on board or get run, run over. That's, so, so, that uh, is so true. Dr. Farmer's personal line of pink Himalayan salt therapy products were carefully created with a series of essential oils. But not just any type of oil would do. And not all essential oils, like for instance, lavender, you know, there's different species, you know, of lavender. So which one do you choose? Which one is going to work best for your product? It depends on what you're going for. What's the end result that you want that goes into choosing which one you're going to put into your product. Dr. Farmer's labor of love has paid off for the people who matter the most. Her family and her patients have found undeniable relief from sinus, allergy and skin issues. The cocoa butter was the first major step to success. You are not going to find a product like that out there on the market with a cocoa butter infused with Himalayan sea salt. And the success that I found with it initially was really for healing of the skin. I have uh, a friend I guess we could say she's a patient also, but a friend who had some horrific, horrific wounds from a post-surgical complication. Skin grafts, just horrible infection, and her skin healed in a, just a half the amount of time that it would if she was not using the cocoa butter. So that was like, oh wow, really? That was a surprise to me. I knew the benefits of the, the, the Himalayan sea salt and the cocoa butter, but to actually see it working was phenomenal. And now her adult and children's versions of her non-addictive salt me inhalers are just as phenomenal. I had a parent walk into my office last week and say, my child does not get those sinus infections like she used to. She bought like five more. 
you know so when you have something that's natural that's not going to give you that side effect profile like the traditional medications over the counter it's a win it's a win for everybody and as a physician it's a win for me because I can see how it really is helping my patients and for a woman who takes care of so many people, it's clear she still has someone caring for her and her world. People ask me all the time, Dr. Farmer, how do you do this? How do you do that? How are you involved in this? And you practice and you're in this organization and this nonprofit and now you're starting mm -hmm. a company and you have three girls, how do you do it? And I always say, because of my husband. That's the mm -hmm. only way is because yeah. of my husband, because without him, I wouldn't be able to do all of this. Oh, you thank know? you. Aww. <laughs> mm -hmm. And if you would like to order the cocoa butter or these unbelievably good, successful, awesome inhalers, um, saltmepink.com is her website. And it's the time of year. It is the time of year. I have the year. inhaler in my pocket. I'm I know. ready to go. I have mine too, and so does our entire team. That's probably why we wanted to revisit it so badly, because <laughs> honest to God, they work yeah. so great. Yeah, so. and more products are on the way. All right, when we come back, it's like a real life blacksmith Zorro guy, right? <laughs> yes, and then you combine him with Mark Canzanetta, and I'm pretty sure anything can happen in the test kitchen this week, thanks to some special friends, right? With apologies to some other very important people, these guys have the meats. You'll see it after this break. No hot water? Call A to Z Dependable Services. Our fully stocked rapid response water heater specialist will get you back in hot water in no time. A to Z is the only call you need to make. Where did I put that? Where did this come from? You have unleashed the power of the Sunrise Genie. What is your wish? Sunrise Pizza for life? I grant you that wish. Sunrise Pizza for life. At the Sunrise Inn, we're celebrating our 90th anniversary in a big way. Enter now at WFMJ.com for your chance to win Pizza for Life. I love Sunrise Pizza. Man, I'm glad you didn't order fish sticks. Me mm too. -hmm. There's no denying it, the boots you wear can make a big difference in how the job gets done. And Ryers is the only place to find a selection that works for everyone. Get to Ryers now and take on the cold weather in a pair of Roan boots. Originally $109.95, now just $59.97. Ryers is the one stop you need to make for all your work boot needs. And be sure to check out the Harley Davidson collection. We know you work hard. Let the experts help you take it in stride at Ryers Shoe Store in beautiful downtown Sharon. She would always say, honey, I, you snore so loud, I, I can't believe how loud you snore. And I'm like, what? And he claims I quit breathing. I've tried four different masks to make it work, and I just can't do it. I'll and I'll be honest with you, I did off. not know what REM sleep felt like, like before too. the appliance. I really right. did not. I, it, I never had that deep of a sleep before. Bistro 1907 is a classic yet unique American bistro. This space lets us immerse ourselves in history. The dishes are inspired by our past but have a modern twist. Bistro 1907 by Mark Canzanetta is unlike any place else. Find out why. I'm Mark Canzanetta and I welcome you to Bistro 1907. Pesto's Test Kitchen, look at what we have today! My brother, Tommy right? Matthews, the one the only. How's nice to brother? see you, Tommy. How you doing, brother? Thanks for having me. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Welcome our, to the Test Kitchen. Yeah, this is a this is a big deal. Um, for the folks at home who might recognize Tommy from our show, we have featured Crooked River Forge before and how he makes these unbelievable knives. But watching how they're made and then watching how they're used. That's it. That's what it's about. In the hands that it really matters. And uh, that, this is what it's that's about what today, it's all right? about, exactly. Uh, I pride myself in taking, because I 
I hunt. <laughs> so I like taking it from yeah. the field to the kitchen to the dinner table. So yeah. I like to make my knives for all those purposes. So to have a chef of this caliber to use oh. my stuff on a regular no, no, basis no. and it's my pleasure, man. And give me praise oh, for get it, out man. Of here, guys. It's winning for sure. <laughs> no, no, no. I, Forge and Fire champion. If you haven't watched this show on Forge and Fire, season episode, uh, season um, five, episode thirty-six or thirty-seven, <laughs> depending on what platform you're watching it on. I've recently <laughs> right. come to right. know. So oh, look for the steel <laughs> takedown bow, which yeah, I didn't see that one coming but no no yeah, no that was totally ties into and what the thing I do. is you won on an element that wasn't inside of your skill set necessarily right. building a bow out of steel right in how many hours um i think we had what well, you get four days four days shop four days yeah so, so yeah. the research that goes behind that, the thought process <coughs> that goes behind that, you mm -hmm. forged your own arrow tips, made your own arrows, everything. It was, they it's an amazing piece. They supplied the arrows, which was cool. They said you can make your own, oh, but okay. they gave us nice arrow shafts with, with fletchings already attached to them from turkey feathers. And uh, we just had to put the tips on them, which, you know, we had to make like six of those. So oh, great. To make them all So let's work. talk about what you do, man. How You got into this. You were in the steel business, right? Yeah, I was... Uh, I came up all the way from being a laborer all the way up through as a purchasing agent in sales, uh, worked for some of the big steel companies in the area, selling and whatnot. And uh, I was relieved of my corporate America duties <laughs> and I had just gotten into, um, you know. Hobby I was at first? The, it was a hobby. I was making furniture and people asked me all the time, how'd you get started? I was a blacksmith, you know, I wanted to kind of incorporate that into furniture that I was making. I was doing a lot of pallet, rustic stuff. And I got all the stuff. And the first thing I made was a knife, and I never worked on furniture again. <laughs> well, you found your calling because I'm absolutely, everybody I show your knives to, you're already established yourself as a brand in the area. Just with a few different venues you've gone to, the Youngstown Flea, you know, That's you know, making huge. some knives for me, which I'm honored to have in my collection, and the collection continues to grow because these are all, these are my knives, these are my knives, and I have a lot more knives on the wall. But these are some commercial knives. Right. Tell me the difference between your knives, Tommy, and some of these commercial knives that are great knives. Because this is both of our idol, Bob Kramer right, right there. Right. And then we have Global, <laughs> some great steel from Global in Japan. And then we have your absolutely custom made set. So tell us the difference, why yours are better. Because um, we know they are. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's an honor to, to even be mm -hmm. compared with Bob. Um, he is kind of one of the, um, he he brought Damascus back to the yes. to the to the real world. Because it was a lost art. It was it was, and he is the kind recipes of one of the, were forgot. How to forge it, exactly. how to make the steel, and the steel. patterns. I mean, you can see the patterns in here. This is multiple layers of steel that create patterns, and and what he has done for the industry has kind of like just catapulted this. And he's making knives with meteorites now. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, crazy where does he even stuff. get that steel? I mean, <laughs> I don't want to even have to put do the bill for the travel. That Mark. <laughs> no, I'm getting you no, I don't. I, I, I know, I know. <laughs> But my stuff is, is pretty much all made from high carbon steel, so I you're going to notice. Just look you know, at the craftsmanship in yours. My stuff is not going to be all nice and shiny like this is a, a stainless steel Damascus pattern that, that Bob did here. But look at here. my test kitchen. It's very rustic. It is. And, and your knives are what, perfect for it. That's what I pride myself on. You know, People have come up to my table and said, oh, so you refurbish old knives. And I'm like, no, no. but that's a great compliment because I... I wanted my knives to look like my grandfather's old knives that I saw around the right. house growing up. The old carbon um, steel, they got yeah, the patina you know, to them. The old Italian making sauce in his basement, yep. and stuffing sausage and you know, using these old knives that have been sharpened so many times that the blade is kind of worn out. Yeah. And I was like, that's what I want my knives to look like. So. I love it. I love yeah. it. I love it. So, I, how I, long I, does it take for you to make a knife? I'm sorry, Lauren. That's okay. Yeah. I get that question a lot too yeah. and it's hard to say because as you probably know from seeing how much I bring to the flea. I'm making 10, 15 knives at a time, you know. I cranked out that set, another set of three, a couple other blades that were mixed into that were EDCs and hunters type, type stuff. Um, and so, that's what's great about how diversified you are, because there's a huge market for the hunters that need skinners right. and all of those different application knives. knives. Exactly, all that exactly. Stuff. Um, so to put it down to, to, to one knife, all I can say is in Forged and Fire, I made a knife in six hours. Wow. Wow. And if you've never <laughs> watched that finish. show, the pressure, how, how hot is it in that, that forge? It was August. It was in the 90s outside. We had four forges going in a, a room, probably double this size. They and said many, it was over many, 113. How many, many studio lights above oh, you lighting yeah, you? All that, too. you got to figure all that in. 
So they said somewhere around 113 degrees on the floor while we're working. Wow, yeah. that's incredible. That's crazy. That's incredible. All so, right, so I, Mark, I have a question. All yeah. Right, so when you're looking at you know just a regular set of knives, you know I would I would go to like Macy's and buy a set of knives, or I would register on my like you know wedding registry for like Hinkle or something like that. Yeah. All good names, but when it comes to the preciseness and the accuracy and like the blade, what are you looking at when well, you are deciding off, for what, what you do in your kitchen? Because this well, is your kitchen. Right? I have a career that's kitchen. spanning yes. now a long time. You know, I started collecting yeah. knives around 22 years old and I showed some, Tommy some of those knives. So I've been collecting for almost 30 years, 31 years I've been collecting knives and use multiple different platforms of knives throughout from both commercial exotic knives like Tommy, Bob Kramer, things like that. I'm looking for a knife for me that's very well balanced in my hands, which Tommy's knives are so perfectly balanced and you know they just really feel great in your hand. Um, I'm looking for ease of sharpening because I like a knife that retains an edge really, really well and then it's easy to get that edge back with a honing steel. So I like that about his knives. And also I like how sexy they are, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, you know, you it's want a knife in your sexy. hand when you get to a point in your it career that you somebody looks at you and say, where'd that guy get that knife? Yeah, it looks good. And mm -hmm. I'm like, this guy right over here, Tommy Matthews. Oh, and awesome. so a lot goes into the thought process. And another thing too is nothing against some of the knife makers you made, but I cut myself last weekend prepping in the kitchen and it was like a surgical cut from a scalpel. So that means that knife is going that cut is going to heal very quickly right. because it was a clean cut. When you buy some of those lower end knives that don't retain that edge, your cut's going to be a lot worse and We're it's not going to heal. We're, We're going to do, do some cutting, cutting when we come back. Is that okay with that? That is. Can we take a break? Sounds good. Are you going to stay with us? I'm going to stay here because oh, okay. I love the smell of what's going on here. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to see what we're going to be don't worry, we're going to see his handiwork, Tommy's handiwork, a little bit later on the show. Yeah, we have a little uh, special story for, you, story for you later on and then see how it really works, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. But the fact that Mark uses it and is so proud to use it, pretty darn cool for us. Very cool. Okay, we're going to go outside in the next segment. Lucky you. A couple more nice days to soak up before wintertime. We'll meet up with Kelly Warren at a really cool house when we come back. Did you say we're going on a roller coaster this winter? Not a roller coaster, a polar coaster. The Farmer's Almanac is predicting a polar coaster with way more snow than average. DuCut can help you get ready for anything this winter. We've got complete selections of Honda and Toro snowblowers that can ride out this year's polar coaster. So let yourself go to DuCut. Let yourself go to DuCut. With taking the kids to soccer practice, piano lessons, and everything else, I'm lucky if I get to fit in a workout. But staying fit is important, not just your body, but your teeth as well. The professionals at Pristine Dental provide affordable dental care for your entire family. From routine cleanings to cosmetic dentistry, Pristine Dental has got you covered. Plus, they have transparent pricing and membership plans that directly benefit you, not the big insurance companies. Visit pristinedentalpros.com to learn more and book your free consultation today. Your smile will say it all. From the beginning, it's been like hard work, all me, trying to get this done, trying to get products out there and coming up with different ideas. You know, each, every single product has a story behind it and every story is because they were made to help somebody. another edition of Home Advantage with Kelly Warren and now we've moved out back. Still have a couple nice days left, right? Yes, I'm enjoying, you know, the fall market is still a hot real estate market, so it's fun for us. It is, and I wanted to talk about this place because a lot of times when a picture pops up on the website, it's the front of the house. Mm -hmm. Here's one where you might want to do the back of the house, yes. right? Yes, yeah. You know, we want to show the front of the house because people want to buy a pretty house. They mm -hmm. want it to look so, like something that they want to buy, mm -hmm. but where are you going to spend all your time? Out back. Right here. Yep. Right? Uh, and how important is that picture when you first see it? the very first one people see. The very fi first picture is important because you want to have the good curb appeal, you want to draw people in, mm -hmm. but really like we said, you, your time and your energy and your evenings of relaxing after work and your cooking out are done right here. Yeah. Tell me about this place a little bit.
but uh, this has a lot of cool features that a lot of houses don't have, right? Yes, everything custom, everything high end. We're talking luxury homes. Mm -hmm. um, we're back at 860 Sawgrass and Howland again this week. And so what I love here is the way that the entertaining spaces are laid out. Mm -hmm. So rather than just having a back patio that comes off of one end of the house, here we've got the mother-in-law suite on the first floor with access to the entertaining spaces, mm -hmm. the master suite on the second floor with the princess balcony. Gotta have a balcony. Yes. <laughs> the grand hall has three doors that come out here. Uh -huh. And then this end of the house is the living spaces, the family room, the kitchen where you're spending most of your time. And then you're coming right off of that kitchen area into where the grill and the tables are. So your evenings in the summer and the fall can be spent out here. People love that outdoor grill, don't they? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Let's talk about the kitchen a little bit. We, uh, we'll show some video inside there. It is impressive. It, it is. It's a Tuscan kitchen, completely high end, um, sub zero freezer drawers. You've got that that cooktop. I'm not a chef, but my God, wouldn't any chef want that? Right. Yes. And, we, and you can hear the building going on behind us. So it's, uh, people are still building homes in this yes. area, aren't new they? New construction taking place right here. Why buy new when you can have double the value with a resale home? Totally makes sense. All right, folks, want to get a hold of uh, Kelly and your team? Please yes. tell them how to do it. You can give us a call or a text at 330-717-2689. Or as always, they can find this property and every home that we sell online at kellysoldit.com. Yeah, this is a new one on the market. You'll want to check it out. Great segment this week. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Well, look at that, Michael. I never thought of that. If, if the back of your house is nice, show the back of the house. If the front of your house is nice, show the front. Why? I don't know. I should know. Don't show the back of my house. <laughs> or mine. Right. Yeah, we're not, we're not allowing that to happen on television. But you know what? We are going to take a, a trip down memory lane just really quickly. Let's only because that. Tommy and Mark Hansen and I are such good friends. So we'll figure, we'll take you back down to Crooked River Forge in West Virginia and show you what our friend Tommy Matthews is really capable of. And if you're looking to buy a knife for this holiday season, my guess is you might want to start that now because wait till you see this. It's here, in a small town in West Virginia, just south of East Liverpool, where Tommy Matthews perfects his craft. This tiny shed is all this maker needs to feel right at home. It's easy to get out of bed in the morning and, and know that this is what I'm coming to. Um, you know, it, it's hard to walk away from it at the end of the day, because it's like so much that I could be doing and want to be doing, but then you gotta have a little bit of a balance and have a little bit of a life. Tommy spent 10 years in the military and fought in Desert Storm before finding a civilian job as a sales manager for a steel company. When hard times hit, Tommy went all in on perfecting the craft that he loves. That decision was made for me, uh, so I don't know that I could have ever just quit my day job and, and done this full time, but when, when I was presented with that, I just thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a shot. All I can do is fail, and I failed before, so. That's what Crooked River was forged. The love for making just kind of came to me of, uh, out of necessity for myself. Like I could never afford high-end furniture or, or really nice cutlery. So when I made that first knife, I was like, wow, man, I, I, I feel like I can do this. I was into like woodworking and making pallet furniture before I got into this and uh, decided I had a pretty strong knowledge of metalworking, being in the fabrication industry for as long as I was, and I wanted to start incorporating like old work, uh, old school iron work into some of my pieces. So I went out, bought an anvil, a forge, and, and first thing I ended up making was a knife, and I was, I was hooked, and I haven't really touched the furniture business ever since. You know, I get people that stop in here and ask, and I'm just not at a place right now where I want to do that. Um, I'm kind of, I love working with knives because it lets me work with the three medias that I love the most, which is metal, wood, and leather. And you know, it, it's such a variety to get to, if you get burned out with grinding or, or pounding or, or working with the wood, you, you know, you switch over. You know, I'm gonna go work on some leather for a little while and you know, sit down, chill out. Tommy has taken his hobby and turned it into a successful full-time business and has sold knives all over the country. I, I think I'm getting really close to getting all 50 <laughs> at this point. Um, but yeah, I just recently sold one to, uh, to a girl up in uh, Alaska that's also a, a maker, a uh, woodworker. She's doing a lot of the cool resin stuff as well and super talented. Um, 
So I got my first knife in Alaska, which is, is huge. These knives are special not only to Tommy, but his customers as well. Each knife is a piece of art in their own ways, and they'll be cherished for years to come. People come to me, especially like a lot of the hunters, you know, they want a, they want a, a pass down knife so that they can pass it down to their kids and their kids pass it down. So when you're building something like that, it's just, you know it's gonna, it's gonna outlive you. Tommy's drive to make something symbolic and meaningful for people isn't slowing down, and neither is his love for his craft. Here I am, uh, doing what I love to do, listening to the birds and the bees, <laughs> the cows sometimes, you can hear the cows, and uh, being in downtown Cleveland, just such, such a different environment to be here. And uh, I'll always love Cleveland, I mean, it was a great place to set up shop and, and have some roots, but I'm a West Virginia boy. <laughs>think about it, pretty hot, huh? <laughs> it's like a real live, like stuff you used to see from the colonial days or something, Forged right? Forged in real fire. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> if you want to learn more about Tommy Matthews and all of those spectacular knives, just log on to his website, which is uh, crookedriverforge.com, or look him up on Instagram, yeah. Facebook, social media. Find him anywhere. Yes. All right, you know what I like? Okay. I like people that care about quality, mm -hmm. and I like people that care about jobs. And we have a person that uh, has come to town now and is caring about both, putting them together, buying a lot of the local Perkins restaurants and bringing them back to life. And we were there right on time for the newest grand reopening. We've pursued these for a long time. Russell Berner is talking about Perkins. He's part of an ownership group that just bought 13 of them, five in the Youngstown area, saving them from going under. Our management company has been at this a long time, so we're just excited that we can participate, provide our expertise, our leadership, and help Youngstown Perkins uh, reemerge. Today, the chairs are here just in time, and they're putting on the finishing touches right before they open at 11 a.m. Well, the staff's all geared up. Um, we're trying to make sure the community knows we're here, get back involved. Still waiting on the sign over the door, they go with the banner until it comes in next week. And that doesn't matter to these folks. They're ready to work after being off for only a week during this giant renovation. In a week, yeah. These guys are expert crews that come in. Um, all new furniture, all new equipment, everything's working top notch. Um, it's clean, it's crisp, it's fresh. Uh, everybody will love it. From the carpet uh, to the ceiling is all new. And now they're open and here come the people, ready to gobble up their favorites, whether it's at the table or from the dessert cases at the front counter. Yeah, the doors are open and um, we've made a big investment here, so we're looking forward to serving the community. Youngstown is a heritage market. It's been here for almost 40 years, I think. Everybody knows and loves Perkins. And because of that, Russ isn't nervous. He knows his investment will work for a couple of reasons. First, the area itself. Perkins started in Cincinnati and has always been popular here in Ohio. We have enough history. Um, it's been a successful location here in Niles. But the others in Youngstown that are open are also very successful. So we have enough data. Um, and we are expert operators. So what we bring is our expertise and our um, investment to help the team be successful here in the future. The second reason is the food. It's a heritage brand, They've been around since the 1950s, but they've come a long way. The food's much more contemporary now, um, famous for breakfast, but we are uh, open all day and in some cases 24 hours. So um, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and everything in between. There's a new menu starting this month, but don't worry, the old favorites will still be on there, and Russ is good with that. I'm an old basic ham and uh, cheese omelet guy, yeah. um, because it comes with the, our famous pancakes, or a muffin, and um, it's, a, it's a lot of food for good value. So um, I always go that way, but I try everything on the menu all the time. And just like Youngstown, Perkins has seen some lean times, but it's battling back too, and feels like it's better than ever. So they've seen it go through the evolution, 
and um, now we're bringing it to its highest, freshest status and remodeling everything so it's crisp, um, contemporary, all the food has um, been upgraded, and um, I think everybody will love the new perfect. So if you're wondering about your Perkins, now they didn't buy them all, but I'll tell you how it goes. Niles was first, they're doing the Elm Road one in uh, Warren, then they're gonna take care of Austintown and Boardman after that, and they go fast. I thought we opened Beaster 1907 quickly. <laughs> yeah. They did we, that in a week? Yeah, and that's how they do it. They got these experts to come in and boom, 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 they're done, and then they're reopened, they got all new chairs, all new everything, and they go. Just like that. Good job, you. And the pies and the cheesecakes. Oh, uh, that dessert case. Hello, if everybody. If I had to walk by that every day. I wouldn't. <laughs> you, I would not walk past it. I would have chairs. to stop and eat yeah. every day. That's so good. And you can buy, of course, get your uh, pie for Thanksgiving. Yep. You know, if you're thinking about Put it. Put your orders in. So. All right. Well, All right, when we come back, back to Pesto's place, huh? Shall we go where the meats are, you know, just gigantic and perfectly well done? And I don't know how they make it look so easy. We're These two see. guys, they make it look good after this break. A to Z Dependable Services now offers walk-in tubs and showers in as little as one day. Let us create a safer bathing experience in your bathroom or the shower of your dreams. Call A to Z Dependable Services today for a free estimate or visit us online at onlyatoz.com. Baby, you got some big feet. Where do you get shoes for those feet? I buy them at Ryers, of course. They have all sizes, even for me. They're always tax-free and located in beautiful downtown Sharon. Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC is teaming up with Valley Spotlight. Hey, you guys, this is going to be great. It sure is. We are bringing you the chance to win big in a Sweeney Cash car. You could drive away with $250 cash or $1,000 towards your new Sweeney vehicle. So buckle up, answer our trivia questions, and win. Enter at valleyspotlight.com slash cash car for all the details. So come take a ride in the cash car at Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC. On Market Street in Boardman. Sweet. We are back in Pesto's Test Kitchen. We've got Tommy Matthews. We have Mark Canzanetta. I should just get out of the way. I, I don't think so. We love having you here. I mean, you, you, you make it all come together, you know. I really, I'm like the glue. You are the glue. You guys are the bricks in this, you guys. We had a bunch of knives out before, and we yeah. were talking through some of the differences between how you make knives and why you like a uh, certain knife a certain way. I do, way. I do, I do. And for you guys, you are a hunter. I am. And you understand that we go from turkey to turkey to turkey. To plate. Yeah, exactly, so exactly. Of, and, and this thing. Well, this you know, looks amazing. Uh, my, my chefs in the background, our chefs in the background uh, back there, uh, Jesus and Trayvon, they, they prepped this all this morning for us and they did a fantastic job. So one of my favorite things is this time of year because right. it's meat time, man. It is. You know, we have a lot of vegan food on on our restaurant, yes, Mestre Bistro. I love it. We create it for vegans. But when it comes to fall, I love a proper, I call it proper prime rib proper prime like an english prime rib and then we have this magnificent turkey and tommy was going to get us one from his backyard but they weren't cooperating no they weren't coming yesterday <laughs> funny thing about nature you, were, uh, <laughs> you got your little turkey but you can't yeah. count on hillcrest food <laughs> yes we can count on hillcrest food they supplied everything today they're one of our branding partners and they do a great job for us i think they actually heard it and then they made sure that we had the meat here today so my gosh um you you can hunt a different day right yeah, we're going to cut today so tommy we're what kind of what kind of knife do you like to use to cut like a prime rib what would you recommend well I recommend for for big cuts of meat this this Western French chef is what I call it so it's sort of like the old French chef um, I tend to have a Western kind of spin with the rusticness of the knife and everything but as you can see this is it's probably about a nine inch blade on this on this knife this is a big piece of meat and we're gonna have no problem getting through this this oh, cut. absolutely not absolutely not so like I go between different jobs you know sometimes I like an eight inch French knife a ten inch French knife Yours is perfect because it's, it's a utility for all jobs. You can cut around anything. Because you really only, a chef really only needs three knives. You need a French knife, you need a bony knife, and you need a parry knife. And you can pretty much accomplish anything you need to do in the kitchen with those three knives. So if you pay attention and you have a little bit of extra money in your budget, Go to CricketRiverForge.com, check out Tommy's Knives. You're on a little bit of a wait because you're getting to be like a superstar now. <laughs> so how long does it take for us to get one of your knives now? Uh, right now I'm about four to five weeks. Um, the Christmas rush hasn't even hit yet. Um, 
I have probably about 40 blades on my books right now, so please don't wait. Yeah. Um, get in now um, so that you can have it for Christmas. Uh, I really don't know how many I'm going to be able to take before I have to cut it off. And, well, you're and a one-man show. I am. And that's yeah. what's so special about it. You do this alone by yourself. You craft the blades, the handles. You do all the mill work. You do everything yourself. Exactly. And that's why, I mean, look, what, tell us about that handle it's, because it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, this handle is absolutely gorgeous. And this is some of the only material that I've gotten. Uh, a friend of mine, Scott Johns, down in uh, Jacksonville, Florida. Um, this is called spaghetti oak or it's a spalted oak. Um, it's just... A, a beautiful piece of wood. I don't know if you can the pick grain, up all the this, the is just awesome. and It does look like spaghetti, so that's kind of the nickname, Spaghetti Oak. All right, well, let's see how that blade performs, Tommy. All right. And this is a great, great meal for the whole family, and well, it's going to be... Well, you know what? We do oh, this. I like to do a proper meat. piece of prime rib on, on Christmas Day. I really like that. Now, when you cook this piece of prime rib, one of the most important things is you want to do, and the end cuts are always going to be a little bit more medium, medium, medium well, well done, and we love that for our yes. guests that have that. And then once you get towards that center, you're you going to find going, a perfect, okay. uh, yeah. a perfect medium how thick, rare. How thick do you want to go here? Well, no, whatever you want to do, man. Keep cutting while you're happy. That crust, man. Look at that, that crust. Is just that's what yeah. it's all about. You want to make sure that when you pull your prime rib out, you want to let it rest for about 20 to 25 minutes because if not, you're noticing all the juices are staying inside of the muscle versus steeping out, and that is just so very important. Now you're starting to see that medium, medium rare coming about. It's looking and like you know a king. what? It is. <laughs> you know, we have a nice au jus back here for it. Uh, you can do a great horseradish sauce for it, or you can just eat it on your own. You know, the thing about this is oh, that looks great. Yeah, that's perfect. That's beautiful. And what you want to notice is this. This is heavily seasoned on the outside. What did Be you put on it? You put salt, pepper. That's really all you need hmm. when you have a good piece of beef. And then I love from France herbs de Provence because it's got lavender and it's got I it's got marjoram and thyme and you can smell mm -hmm. all those great herbs. And just look at how that that's fantastic. Yeah, the, when we come back, juice. we're gonna do the turkey. Like look at that. Oh baby. Yeah, that muscle's nice beautiful. and compact. It's Again, perfect. the resting of that meat is really, really important. And also prior to that, you wanna make sure the meat is brought up to room temperature before you put it in the oven, because if not, your outside's gonna be cooked, your inside's not gonna be cooked. And this took how long? That took about two hours and 45 minutes. Wow. At what temperature? Um, we were in there at 350 degrees. All right, very good. Taking notes, we'll be right Amazing. back with a special gift from this one to this one. Oh my God, I can't wait. As a real estate investor, I look for sharp agents who really know their market. Agents who do so much business, they can find me the right investment property and sell it for the most money without drama. When I need real estate advice in the Mahoning Valley, I call Kelly Warren. Her innovative marketing attracts hundreds of buyers every month, which creates more demand for your home, selling it faster and for more money. She guarantees to sell it on your timeline or she'll buy it. Call the agent I trust, Kelly Warren, and avoid the drama. There's just something about choosing the perfect fall outfit, something that fits your favorite moments. But before you breathe in that crisp air or that warm campfire, let's be honest, there's nothing like the smell of a new pair of boots. The Ryers Fall Boot Sale is happening now. The entire stock of men's and women's boots is 20 to 75% off. Discover the season's best styles at Ryers Shoe Store. I think that sounds better and better every time, man. Hi, I'm Ray Mancini. Welcome to another round of the Boom Boom Room. I'm here with my ace corner man, cut man, my case. No further ado, early morning flight, Ed O'Neill, who's Drennan, Ryan Florio. I'll kick your ass, man. I'll kick the ass. I'll kick the crap out of you. This is some deep shite, man. Deep yeah. shite. Ow! Am I the only one? More than anything, we gotta be entertaining, man. We gotta be entertaining. If it ain't entertaining, why are we doing it? Did you say we're going on a roller coaster this winter? Not a roller coaster, a polar coaster. The Farmer's Almanac is predicting a polar coaster with way more snow than average. DuCut can help you get ready for anything this winter. We've got complete selections of Honda and Toro snowblowers that can ride out this year's polar coaster. So let yourself go to DuCut. Let yourself go. Santa is here, and you know what that means. It's time for Operation Santa. This year, we're supporting our friends from the United Way. Help us celebrate 100 years in the Valley, making generations of impact. 
For every new Chevy, Buick, or GMC we sell now through December 31st, we'll make a $50 donation to the United Way. Every dollar stays in the valley. Operation Santa, only at Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC. On Market Street in Boardman. <laughs> Sweeney. Our customers are always part of the equation of everything we try to do. We don't have a Hillcrest label that we're trying to push on you. We don't have stockholders we're trying to make profit for. There's no out-of-state corporate office. The competitive advantage for Hillcrest over our national competition really is sustainable pricing, number one, the service, and caring about what the customer needs, not our agenda. It's tough to get off course when that's your focus. The cutting fund has begun in a very yeah. big way, thanks to Tom Matthews thank and you. Crooked River Forge for being here in Pesto's Test Kitchen. Thank you, thank you, thank you, I'm going to let the man love continue. Uh, I, I know, man because meatloaf, Tommy and I have been right? talking about a special project for a long time. And we it's have. finally here. You uh, I'm a big fan of long? Game of Thrones. Yes, uh, uh, wow. I just said, Tommy, in your spare time, make this. So I've been mm -hmm. a huge Game of Thrones fan, and I love the way the knives look on that, and I wanted a Game of Thrones inspired Thanksgiving carving knife and fork because I want to pass it down from Canzonetta generation to generation to generation. And there was only one guy who wanted to make that knife for me. So awesome. I haven't seen it yet. He's talked to me. He's he's posted little <laughs> blips that have made me crazy. Right? We so, actually have some of the blips. So on, on, on I know, I know. All right, I know. let's see it. All right. So Describe this definitely to took me out of my box, which I love to do oh from time to time. My um, God. The stag. Look at this. Is mule deer that came from a friend of mine that I served over in Desert Storm with. Uh, he lives out oh, in Arkansas. Man. I did some walnut, leather stack. Oh my God. Brass, brass. Um, it, it's above expectation. <laughs> so brass far, liners in there. Um, this is crazy. Tommy, are you kidding? Oh my me? God! And the way you made the hand, the antler go to feel in your ergonomic, hand. Ergonomic, right? It's very ergonomic. Oh my God! You better all look out back there. <laughs> all our people. Wow. So let's see how it works. Oh that's, my God! That's going to so be the true test. This is. I wanted to have something special at Thanksgiving. You know, we roasted this this beautiful turkey, and we're just going to go down. You follow the breastbone. Oh, oh my God! It's like cutting through butter. Awesome. It's like cutting through butter. And you just <laughs> so follow the breast, the breast bone all, all the way, way down. down. You follow the skeleton. And that's all you do. So you and shouldn't try and just shave off like layer, you layer, layer, I do layer. that. I, I do that when I get to the end. So I just cut this off and we're going to pull this off. Do you need any help? No, no. Okay, and I just want to put it right there oh, and just man. look at that. And then Tommy, look at how little pressure this knife is so perfectly balanced, awesome. and I am just slicing through it like it is a hot knife going through butter. <laughs> Guys, enjoy Man. that. Tommy, it's been an honor to have you on the show. This knife is so ridiculous. Look awesome. at the craftsmanship on that blade. Thank you. And everything. Tommy, oh. thank you so much, my brother. Thank you, brother. You made I hope me, your family enjoys that for many, 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 many years. generations. So, anyway. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to all happy of our fall. friends out happy there. Happy Thanksgiving. So, Continued success, my friend. Thank you. We hey love guys. you around here. You're invite he's invited back whenever he wants, pretty much. I think. <laughs> Always welcome. Awesome. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. Well, that was a very emotional knife presentation. I didn't right? see coming. And your birthday is coming up, and I didn't get you any knives. I'll just take a fork. <laughs> That'll be fine, too. There's a lot of jokes to go with that. I was going to say, I'm just going to leave it alone. <laughs> but my gosh, Mark was so excited to see those in person finally. How and that, that turkey. Now, I love prime rib. Don't get me wrong. That turkey was so good. Perfect. Well done. Speaking of well which. Done. Oh, wait till you see how versatile this place is. We want to show you around a little bit further. Right. And of course, you know, Mark Hanzanetta is a big part of our family, but he's also a huge part of the culinary family and what Steelite International represents. So we had a chance to walk through this exact showroom and show you what it is that Chef Mark is seeing through his eyes and so many chefs just like him. Mark, it's like it's like chef paradise up here. It's a lot of well, you and Steelite this I week. Know, it's like uh, our thankful show. I know. I'm so thankful. I mean, the Valley's thankful to have John Miles and his team here in the Valley with this wonderful organization called Steelite International. And for me, I've been a fan for 12 years now, I believe. I've been using John's products. And he never ceases to amaze. He never ceases to source, innovate, 
great new ideas, great new products, textures, you know, different products that he uses in the, in the China, the silverware. You know, we're using copper or silverware right now right. at Bistro 1907, really? so you never, there's never a dull day in Steel Light Land. No pun intended, no right? No pun when intended. When it comes to the flatware. And, you know, you say a, a dull day, and, like, we're looking at, like, the, the white plates, but there's so many different elements of things that pop oh, no. out, even though they're the same color. I know. I've used craft. a lot of white plates in the past for what I've done, and a lot of chefs like white plates because they view it as an artist's canvas of a plain white canvas, mm -hmm. and they can have their colorful, you know, their different textures and flavors and colors show through on that plate, and it's beautiful. Where now I'm using a lot of John's different plates, you know, right. Sam Gordon, a dear friend of mine from Robert Gordon, a lot of his products that I use inside of the restaurant bistro, and I just love the textures and the colors of that ceramics that he's using, so it's more like pottery to me. Yeah. And so it just depends on what your mood is. And you are the kind of person that's always innovating, always creating a different um, experience when it comes to what we're eating on the plate. As you look forward to the future, something like this as a yeah. chef, to have a space like this. Oh, gosh. Like, it's just, a, it's like a design center. Isn't it? You know, and you know, you see a plate and you, you can visualize what you want on that plate. Mm -hmm. I mean, that gets expensive as a restaurateur right. if you have one plate for one item. You know, we try to have universal plates that we can put several different items on. But, you know, in a past life, I did it one plate per dish. Right. You know, it was one item per dish, and it was it was it was a lot of fun because the food was meant for that dish. Well, it's really an interesting concept to hear you say that you picked a plate for every single dish, and then when you come into the showroom oh. and you're able to see an actual table set up with all oh, of these different layers, and you know they're in the middle of you know meeting with clients and things like that, and this isn't necessarily open to the public, which is why we're lucky oh, that they let us. Come and in. it's two blocks behind my restaurant, I know, which right? is fantastic. You know, when you see all this, because for me, being a restaurant tour. The restaurant is more than just eating a dish. To me, it's an ethereal experience. You want to take the design factors. You know, I'm so lucky to have Bobby Mancino as my designer, right. and we do that. And then we go hand in hand because the, we take the elements of the design of the restaurant and we pick out the flatware, the tableware, the glassware to match that that era. Like Bistro 1907 is like a turn of a century right. with a little bit of modern infused into it, into the elements of the design. So um, again, it, just coming here, it's like I just walk past some glassware and it's like Christmas is around the corner and I. Want all that glassware in my house. Calm down there, I know, Chef I know. Mark. My, Calm my, down my there. wife will kick my butt. <laughs> I was going to say, and all the beautiful buffet stuff that they've got that's oh. coming next. Um, lots to be excited about when it comes to your world and, of course, this oh, world gosh. and how they all come together. So thank you. Uh, it's a great world. It really is. And uh, again, we're just blessed to have such a, a talented design team back there. Um, always bringing modern, yeah, just sophisticated um, plateware and glassware and silverware. This the silverware is amazing. So. <laughs> It's great I stuff. I love it. I love it. Well, that was interesting, wasn't it? I know. And yeah. for so many people, like Mark, obviously this place is such a resource and we're lucky to be right. able to show it off. They have, you know, new test kitchen area space that they'll be doing, you know, podcasts and being able to talk to, you know, chefs from all over the world. So Very cool place. Very good. I just see plates. These guys see, like, somebody... So many different things. Do yes, you want the good do. news or the bad news? Um, I, I was going to say, almost fell <laughs> these that are such really nice chairs. News. Don't fall out of them. We the don't bad news out is yet. Mark Hanzanetta is not in the next segment. I know, but I'm the sad. good news is people are winning money. That's right. We'll have it for you in the cash car when we come back. Looking for the best doggone deals on shoes or just looking for an excuse to get a new pair? Visit the Rack Room at Ryer Shoe Store. Unbelievable savings on thousands of pairs located in beautiful downtown Sharon. Worth the drive every time. Fetch a new pair of shoes today. Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC reminds you to make a difference this holiday season. For every new Chevy, Buick, or GMC we sell now through December 31st, we'll make a $50 donation to the United Way. You can help too. Go to ymvunitedway.org to donate. <laughs> I have a children's version of the inhaler. I had a parent walk into my office last week and say, my child does not get those sinus infections like she used to. She bought like five more, you know? So when you have something that's natural, that's not gonna give you that side effect profile like the traditional medications over the counter, it's a win. It's a win for everybody. And as a physician, it's a win for me because I can see how it really is helping my patients. Sweet. 
Well, first things first, welcome to the Sweeney Cash Car. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It is nice to have you. I would like to introduce Eric. Hi, guys. Hi, Eric. Hello. And who are our guests today? I'm Brianna. I'm Karen. And where are you guys from? I'm from Howland. Very good. Ooh. I live in Sebring. Sebring. We are pulling them in, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> pulling them in. It's one popular show right now. You give money, yes. they take money, right, ladies? <laughs> Let's make some money. <laughs> All right. Um, tis the season for a lot of weddings. You know, fall, okay. beautiful foliage. So wedding trivia it is. Are you guys ready for this? Yes. So ready. All right. Question number one. 30 million people watched this wedding on TV in May of 2018. It was a royal smash. Harry, Prince Harry and Meghan, Meghan Markle. Markle. Woo! Oh, bada bing, bada boom. I think the Equinox is giving off yes. some good vibes. Yes. What do you think that of took this about thing? about two seconds. Yeah. Right? Lots of leg room, climate control yes. keeps you focused on the road, keeps right. you focused on the questions. Plenty of leg room, huh? Very comfortable. Right. Yes. And like they said, we could move our seats okay. back, and Eric and I are very yes. tall people. Yep. Sure. Tons of room. It's wonderful. Front camera, We're back very camera. Very comfortable here. Dual climate control, unbelievable. And you have to be very comfortable after you leave one of these, okay? This Youngstown tradition is a sweet ending to a great reception. You might even make a to-go box. A cookie table. Woo! Who doesn't love a cookie table? So I don't understand. So a lot of people don't have cookie tables. <laughs> I know. Like, I, the hell did you go to a wedding for? You know, cookie well, first of all, <laughs> I think the cookie table to most people that don't live here are like, why are you having a whole table of cookies? Mm -hmm. I didn't know what it was until I moved here. Anyway, nonetheless, ladies, moving on. Question number three. You are $100 richer already, so it's winning, winning, winning. Let's do it. Um, items like, oh, geez, Michael. Items that give the bride good luck. Finish this rhyme. Something old, something new, something borrowed. Something, something blue. blue. Yes. Kind of like your shirt. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh my god. I just heard that last night. Too. Did you really? My mom was Did you go to a wedding? No, but my oh. mom was talking about it. Oh, know. well, you know. I didn't know. I didn't we, know that that same went with the wedding, but it, it did. Good job. Good job, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. Ancient Greeks and Romans thought that this item, this item worn by brides, world. Oh my goodness, Michael. <laughs> I can't read his writing. He knew I wouldn't. Ancient Greeks and R Romans thought that this item would be worn by the bride worldwide and it would protect them from evil spirits and a bride still wears them to this day. So it's a part of the dress and it was supposed to kept, keep you from evil spirits. The veil. Yes. Really? Are you kidding me? I'm thinking about wearing one every day. <laughs> every day of my life, I'm going to wear one. And so did you just ask, guess or did you know that? No, I, I, I was, it kind of, I might have guessed sense. garter yes. too. Yes. It yeah. sense. It was garter or veil. Yeah, that's what we yeah. discussed. All right, so we are $200 in. You have one last question, and if you don't get this right, we always have an extra one, okay? So last question, unless you get it wrong, then you can trade it in. The most expensive wedding ever was, was given by a sheik to a princess in a modern city. What city was it? Abu Dhabi. Close. Darn close. Oh my goodness. I, I would have guessed one or two. Yeah. All right. Do we want to just put that like a pin in it? Do you have another question? Yes. Um, the two biggest, well, I'm a different question, I'm a different okay, guess. The two biggest wedding days in Las Vegas chapels are New Year's Eve and this day. Valentine's Day. Yeah, there you Woo! go. 250, very easy in the Sweeney Cash Whoa. Car, which is this brand new All Equinox right. two tone. I, I'm really impressed with this. I what was the one we missed? Yes. Could you tell oh, me? Yeah. Um, the United Dubai. Arab Emirates. Well, that's a oh. country. Right, so in this modern city, in. I, I'm not 
sure. Michael's very specific oh, very and stuff specific. like that. So yeah. yeah, if he's crossing it out and rewriting it, I'm pretty sure he's right. But don't worry about it. Two fifty coming your way, baby. <laughs> thank you for coming. Yeah, well, thank, thank you, you. Thank you for having us. This was great. This was a great ride great in the Sweeney job. Cash car. Yeah. I'm They're very comfortable. I car. like this. Yes. I'm, I'm in the market. My daughter has one. I'm, I'm thinking about. I've yeah. slept in the back of my mom's many times. It's very <laughs> spacious back here. <laughs> it's like the Sweeney therapy car mm -hmm. too, right? Oh. We like take a nap. Yeah. Get right with the world. I'll make sure good. she buys another one when Every she <laughs> needs one. Very spacious. Congratulations, ladies. Thank we are you very, very so much. happy to have you. Us. Where are we going? Where, where, where are we pulling in, Eric? On Market Street. In Boardman. Oh, Woo! Sweet. <laughs> wedding trivia. I'm an expert on weddings. Right? I would have done very well It's really well on your that. birthday gift, Michael. I know. Happy birthday. Yeah, thank you. you if are... you're watching this on November 10th, it's my birthday. If you're watching the rerun on the 17th, you missed it. And he's already 50. Yeah. So, congratulations. Thank you. I've thank known you. you a very long time. You've grown up nicely, my friend. Thank you. Very proud of you. I have a few more years to go. All right, so for my birthday, my brother and I used to watch, uh, when we come home from school, mm -hmm. you know, we watched this, well, it was Channel 43 in Cleveland, Brady Bunch, a Gong Show, right. like all those old reruns were on all afternoon until my parents came home and it was time for dinner. But in between the commercials, like we can recite the commercials. And one of them, this one, this one, like I know by heart. So you want to do it first? It's the Ginsu. In Japan, the hand is used as a knife. But it doesn't work well on a tomato. And then and then the Ginsu comes in and it cuts a tin can in half. Because you're always looking to cut tin cans. And you know what I mean? If you've right. got goats and stuff. You ever stuff. need to cut a tin can. So uh, we actually got a Ginsu eventually. <laughs> yeah, and it really worked. It was really cool. So anyhow, uh, that's our retro commercial. And then we'll say goodbye after that. How do people watch us on this program? Well, there's lots of different ways. You could download our Roku channel, ValleySpotlight.com, Facebook, Instagram. Follow our YouTube page, and uh, remember, you can always just watch us on the CW at 4 p.m. and TiVo it. That's right. Do people still have TiVos? I think they DVR. DVR. Either way. Whatever. Thanks for watching. Bye. In Japan, the hand can be used like a knife. But this method doesn't work with a tomato. That's why we use the Ginsu. It's a knife that no kitchen should be without. The Ginsu can cut a slice of bread so thin you can almost see through it. It cuts meat better than an electric knife and goes through frozen food as though it were melted butter. The Ginsu is so sharp it can cut through a tin can and still slice a tomato like this. It can chop wood and still remain razor sharp. What's more, it's a knife that will last forever. How much would you pay for a knife like this? Before you answer, listen. It even comes with a matching fork to make carving a pleasure. Wait, there's much, much more. We also want you to have this six-in-one kitchen tool. It grates cheese and makes beautiful decorative vegetables. How much would you pay for all these items? Well, we'll even give you this set of six precision steak knives. The handles even match the Ginsu. And to make the offer completely irresistible, you'll get this unique spiral slicer. Down and down, around and around, and you'll have a beautiful garnish for your dinner table. Now how much would you pay? You get the Ginsu knife, the matching carving fork, the versatile six-in-one kitchen tool, a set of six steak knives, and the spiral slicer. You get them all, guaranteed in writing for 50 years, for only $9.95. It's the most incredible knife offer ever. Here's how to order. If you like this video, subscribe to Valley Spotlight on YouTube, and be sure to click on the notifications bell so you know when we've got some new stuff. You also can like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and subscribe to us on Vimeo or our Roku channel.